Of course, looking good can make you feel good, but feeling good makes you look fabulous. <laughs> the perfect dress is that one that makes you look great, and more importantly, feel like a bride. Wow. Oh my God. Look at the dresses. My name is Katie Toms. I'm here today to hopefully find my perfect dress for my wedding. I love that. Oh, I is love beautiful. that Beautiful. I like everything to be a certain way, which can then make me a bit of a control freak. You're going to find one here yeah. whether you like it or not. <laughs> she is. <laughs> So I've been dress shopping quite a bit and I've actually in total tried on about 50 dresses. Try I haven't tried one. this before. No, go for it then. Hello there. Hi. Who's the bride? Hey. Hey. Hello there. Hey. Who have you brought with you? I've brought my mum, Felicity, who's a really close friend of the family, and my mother-in-law to be Claire. And what is the theme of the wedding? It's a very vintage, rustic type theme. When you think of yourself at your wedding, what do you envisage? I imagine something that's quite elegant, quite fitted, something that's going to flatter my figure and just make me look beautiful. The importance of buying this wedding dress is everything to Katie. I've been struggling to find the right wedding dress just because I do have a lot of body confidence issues. I've had an eating disorder in the past, so it's very hard for me to feel beautiful. I think this is her way of showing the world. This is me, I'm beautiful. Tell me a little bit something about your fiance. I love him, he's oh. my world, he's my best friend, I do everything with him. My fiance's name is Ben Robinson. I knew that Ben was the one when we just clicked. I could be myself around him, I didn't have to pretend that I was anybody else and he made me feel comfortable and beautiful in my own skin, which I hadn't really felt before. So, Katie, have you seen any dresses here so far? I've seen one on the mannequin in the window. Should we go round? Yeah, Let's course, go and I'll get show you. it. This one. This is a Christine Dando. Come in, Christine. This Hi, is our Katie. lovely Christine. Hello. This is Katie. Nice to meet you. Hello. So tell me, Katie, what kind of things have you been looking at? I like kind of the illusion, sweetheart or bow necklines, just to mm -hmm. give me a bit of coverage. And something lacy, quite vintage looking. OK. I'm very that... picky. Like everything to be absolutely perfect? It's got to be perfect. It's your wedding day. Of course, absolutely. So, yeah. As a designer and salon owner, I totally understand Katie's drive for perfection. That's why I do what I do. I want every bride to fall in love with herself in the dress. Whether it's one of my gowns or another designer's, it's irrelevant. It truly is all about the bride. Oh, here she comes. <gasps> oh, that's my now I am going to cry. I love how it hugs my figure here. Oh, I beautiful. love this. The detail is exquisite. Is there anything you don't like about it? Mm, I guess I'm a bit unsure on the green. I like it, but I don't know if it's necessarily me. I love it. It's, it's so beautiful. beautiful. It's exquisite. Kate. That's everything you wanted. It's just beautiful. You look like a little woodland princess nymph or something. <laughs> I feel like they're going to be a bit disappointed if I don't pick this dress, but I think I'm more veering towards vintage. It is just perfect. perfect. It's going to have beautiful. to be something very special to beat that. Yeah. Should we try on this one? Yes. Part of the consultant's job is to give the bride confidence. And if Katie doesn't feel 100% in the dress, then it doesn't matter how much everyone else loves it. This was the very first one I saw in the window, and it just screamed at me. Are you in there? I think so. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> I knew I would love this one as soon as I saw it in the window. Oh, we got the look word. We yeah. got love. It makes me sparkle. I really like it. I love all this. I really like it. <laughs> so exciting. I like the neckline because it's just enough coverage. My eyes feel really sparkly and just, I really like it. Oh, look, you made hairs go up <laughs> on my arms now. <laughs> You're quiet. Look, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. But I think that one's a little bit too heavily embroidered on the lace. The other one made you look like you was glowing. I feel like I glow in this one, though. You do, oh. you do, you do, but you don't glow as much. Right. You don't glow as much. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit disappointed that they don't love it as much as I thought they would. 
and they still keep saying they prefer the first dress I tried on, but I don't. The other one did feel almost a bit too woodlandy because of the green and the brown on it. This is vintage, which is what I want. How about we add a veil? Let's turn you into a proper Some bride. Some green leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, you're going to have to say yes to I know, a dress. I know, I just want to be 100% sure. How can you be 100% sure? That's it. Okay, if you just put your head on. Now we have turned you into a real bride. <sighs> I don't know, it's scary. I just want to be sure. I just have to get this right. It's not you guys, it's me. Because I am so much of a perfectionist, I stress please a little foul. Dress shopping is supposed to be fun. Take a breath, relax and centre. Katie truly loves this dress, but she lacks confidence. She really needs to own how fabulous she looks in this dress. It's not you guys, it's me, because I am so much of a perfectionist. This dress plays a little foul. It breaks my heart to see her get upset. I just wish she was not so hard on herself. I just want to get it right. You look absolutely stunning. Beautiful. I don't let people see it, but I do struggle quite a lot, like daily, with how I look. People don't think it because I come across as quite confident and quite bubbly, but I really struggle with my demons on the inside. Go with what's in there. Forget about what's going on in there. Drive right, yourself nuts. There. Shut that off. Okay. Go with what's in there. As long as she feels stunning and fabulous, then I'm happy for her. That's all I want. I think if you feel good in it, that's all that matters to any of us. Yeah, it's got to be Because like we just you. want it for you. In this dress, I just feel, I feel beautiful for once, rather than feeling ugly. Are you saying yes to this dress? Yes. yes! <laughs> well done. Katie, I solemnly promise <laughs> to make this the perfect dress for you. <laughs> OK. I didn't think this moment would ever come, but I'm so glad it has. Oh, wow, look at all the dresses. My name is Jordan Toby. I am 27 years old. I think I'm very fussy when picking a dress, really fussy. Oh God, I really hope I can find something that I like. There's no room for compromise with my wedding dress. It has to be 100% perfect. Oh, look at that. That's quite nice at the top. I've decided to bring my sister with me. We've been sharing clothes since forever, so I'm always down her wardrobe. I think you'd suit a fish towel on that. Oh, really? Yeah. Jordan will be an absolute diva today. Whenever we go shopping, it's a nightmare. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the straps on this one. Oh, that looks so that frumpy. Awful. She's just fussy. Good morning, ladies. Hi. Hello. Hi. Who's my bride today? I am. You're <laughs> doing great. So, have you been shopping for dresses yet? I've done absolutely nothing, so oh, I'm right. so That's excited. Nice. What kind of thing has been popping out of you when you've been looking around the store? I do quite like this one. However, Gorgeous. I don't really like the hoop in it. Oh, we can have that without a hoop. That's not a problem. Okay. I feel like I have got a certain look I want to go for. I'm just not sure what that is at the minute. Zoe, darling, how are you getting on? Hi, David. Hi. Which, which one? Hi. Hi, ladies. So where's the venue? Where are you having it? So it's at Maidens Barn in Chelmsford in Essex. It's a really rustic old barn, and the kind of theme is a vintage glamour. What is Mr Charming going to look like? Well, he's going to go for something quite tweedy, um, oh. possibly a blue tweed, so a little oh. bit different. Yeah, quite he's a quirky. little bit... He's quite yeah. quirky. I met my fiancé, Paul, six and a half years ago. I used to work in a pub and he just come in one day, started looking at each other and then he left. So his friends were still there and I said, oh, has your friend got a girlfriend? And they said, no. And I said, well, can you give him my number? I'd never done that before, ever. We moved in together, got our first house, had a child, and now we're here. So no. we're looking for something very glam. Yes, I want it to be really glam, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, are we concerned about budget? Um, yeah, I'd like to stay under 1750 1750 Yeah. What about something like this? This is pretty. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't really know what I want, to be fair. Right. 
So we have a picky Cinderella. <laughs> OK, yeah, no, 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 we can have fun. What did what, you, you found something over there? That... I did. It's right. very princessy. Yeah. Jordan doesn't have a clue what style or type of dress she's looking for, so we're going to start with her pick and go from there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Do you like it? What do you think? I really like it. It's very regal. I really like the top hair. It's quite fitted. However, I just feel like it's it's too big. Yeah, I don't feel like anyone could be able to sit next to me or stand next to me. It just looked amazing on the hanger, but really it didn't look that good on me. Oh! This is more of an A-line, sort of a princess line dress. I don't really like how it V's. No, I don't yeah. like that. OK. I don't like the silk at the top, either. Yeah, yeah not at all. Not, not the one. OK, off you go. Wow. It's a nice style. It's OK, this dress. It's not, it's not amazing. I've tried on a fish towel, a ball gown and a princess dress now. I'm still not finding anything that I like. It's a new experience. There's tons of dresses, tons of styles, tons of fabrics. Calm, breathe and let me do my job. You're becoming a little bit of a problem, but we're determined to find the right frock for you. Thank you. With a bride who hates everything, I feel sorry for her. She's probably confused. She's utterly exhausted. I don't like that. You don't like that at all? No. So, well, don't, don't even put it on, then. She needs to take time out and start again. I think it's a good idea that we, we go through the rack. Yeah, I don't like that. No. I feel like it's too... Um... Too mumsy. Yes. Yeah. This isn't dry. This no, I isn't don't like dry. that. Yeah, not that one. Not that one. No, I don't like the top. No. Absolutely not. That one's very plain. No. Right. This is typical Jordan. I'm making you work today, aren't I? You certainly are, darling. I'm slightly losing patience. I like the back of that. We'll try it. Well, it's worth a shot. We'll try it, yeah. Sure. Definitely. Okay. I'm determined to get the right gown for her, and I'll keep going until I find that gown. And I will find that gown, but um, I need a large, a large glass of champagne to get over this. Oh, I like that. Oh, I think this looks. That is beautiful. You wanted something different. You wanted something glamorous. Mm -hmm. But you've got to love it. Look, I want you to wake up on the wedding day and go, oh, I can't wait to put this dress on. Yeah, I don't feel like that with you this. You don't? No, I would. I don't think it's got the wow factor, the absolute wow, which I want to get. In that case, Zoe, I think, darling, we need to rethink. Big time. I'm still confused where we're going. I'm a pain. You're not a pain, darling. Listen, I'm not going to force you into a dress. I want it to look special. Mm. I want you to feel special, your Dre. I don't really know what I want. They don't really know what I want. It, it's quite a difficult position to be in. She's getting overshopped. If we don't find the perfect gown now, we're going to lose it completely. This is a Justin Alexander. It's not too covered. It's not too boring. All right, that dress is going to suit her. If I don't find anything today, I think I feel a little bit anxious. As Oh, God, I've been to one of the loveliest bridal boutiques in the whole of Essex and I still can't find a dress. I, I dare I say, I think we might have a, a bride leaving without no frock. That's awful. I am a bit worried because if she doesn't love this dress, then I don't think she's going to want to try anymore and we might have to call it a day. Here comes the bride. <laughs> it's nice, I like that. Oh, you like it? You like that? Yeah, I really like hey. this. Hey! This Finally. is my favourite. I love this dress because it's different. Never seen it before. The lace is really beautiful. Just everything about it just works. So I really love how it just comes in mm -hmm. and just the ruffles make it look like a bridal dress. Makes me feel absolutely beautiful, glamorous, and definitely goes with my vintage glamour theme. What are you thinking? 
I'm thinking I love it. You love it? I love it. You love it? Yes. Are you going to say yes to the dress? I'm saying yes to the dress. No! <laughs> Congratulations. I feel absolutely amazing in this dress. I'm going to be the bride, and it looks like I'm going to be the bride. Everyone's going to be staring at me on that day. This is definitely the one for me. I'm thrilled for you, truly thrilled. It was a journey, mm -hmm. but we got there in the end. Wow. Are we ready for the most exciting day of our lives? Oh, so ready. My name is Jennifer Duthy. I'm 30 years old. We've come to Confetti and Lace today to hopefully find the dress. Hold on, this one's a bit like the uh, style of skirt that you like. And I brought my mum and my sister because they're the sort of closest women in, in my life. Something like that. Oh, I didn't really see one pearled, but OK. My sister works in fashion, so I'm sure she's going to have some very interesting opinions. Love that. Uh, pink. Love that. Hi, this ladies. One, that's what I said, the pink one. Hi. Hi, Chloe. Hi. Lovely to meet Pleased you. To meet so, you. when's your big day? It's 29th of April next year. Exciting. And where's your wedding? We're having our ceremony at the asylum in Peckham. My fiancé is called Wolf. He's from Germany, and we met at university. He's an incredible person. He's really kind. He's super intelligent, super good looking. Oh, <laughs> Just <cute>. really <laughs> amazing guy. Like, he's, he's pretty cool. He's OK. <laughs> the theme of our wedding will be a, an English-German Indian fusion. And have you got any ideas of the sort of styles, what sort of look you're going to go for? I love embellishment. Lots of sparkle, lots of beading. I'm probably slightly more towards the, the frou-frou kind of princess. Mm -hmm. Because it's the only day you can wear that. Balance. That's why I'm here. <laughs> to tone it back. <laughs> the only type of dresses that I don't think that I would like or look good in are lace. And I, for my figure, I don't think a mermaid style dress would work. What sort of budget would we like to stay under? About £3,000. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies, if you'd like to follow me, we can get shopping. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Is that too much? Uh, I think too um, much. It's your day. Let's not get too carried away. We've been to four different dress shops, three in one day. Got a nice collection building up yeah, here. Yeah, definitely. It gets a bit tiring. You can only pick one per hour. <laughs> I think we'll be trying on a lot of dresses today. Today, I would want the wow factor. I would want my mum bearing her eyes out, my sister, you know, snot running down her face, kind of like wailing. That ideally is what you want, right, when you know it's the dress. What do you think they're going to say outside? <laughs> um, I don't know, actually. After you, lovely. Jenny is completely overshopped and she's lost sight of what she really wants. Once you've seen perhaps the 16th dress, you're a little bit jaded. So we sit there going, um, don't tell Jenny that. <laughs> don't tell Jenny. Wow. <laughs> so the obviously it doesn't fit. Yeah. But this one's very godmother. What do you think? OK, we know what you think. Hideous. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was a bit surprised at the reaction, actually, of my family. How do you feel in this dress? I really liked it. I thought they could probably read that on me, but maybe they didn't. You, yes. you, you're not Cinderella in this dress. You are the fairy godmother. OK, <laughs> <Aww. laughs> What do you think of this dress, Mum? No. Oh! <laughs> I, I love the embellishment. She likes herself in everything. It's a bit pageanty. Definitely, definitely no. I'd like to see Jenny in a dress which is not frou frou. Let's see if she'll be persuaded into trying something like that on. <laughs> Definitely, definitely no. 
Mm. So Jenny has tried on quite a few dresses. I just don't think she's found the one that feels special enough for her yet. I think it's time to change direction and put her in something that I know she'll look amazing in. Hi, Jenny. Right, so I've grabbed us a really beautiful mermaid gown. For my figure, I don't think a mermaid-style dress would work. <laughs> The lace I'm not really feeling, but I think it's good to get a different kind of silhouette. How are you feeling about the shape? It's yeah, no, I do like the shape. Yeah. Like, oh, I feel quite, you know, sexy in this. But my sister, she'll be like, Jennifer, this is wrong for your body. Get it off. It's totally wrong. That's not the dress. After you. So this was a dress that I pulled. It was just like something a little different. A wild card. It's, it's very flattering. Yeah. It's, it's super slimming. So this dress, it's got a corset back, which gives you that beautiful yeah. hourglass figure. I didn't think it looked good, but it kind of does. Yeah. So I absolutely love this dress. It flatters you much more than any of the others. The shape it's giving you is, is really amazing. How do you feel? I, do you know what? It's actually making things kind of worse. Oh, no. like, because I've always been like, mermaids, yeah. no shelving that. And now that I've actually tried one on, I'm like, uh-oh, mermaids the way that we should have always gone. It's very overwhelming. Everything that I kind of thought I was going to be is kind of just completely gone out the window. This blows the ball game completely wide open again. Oh, no. You're <laughs> overshot. We've tried on so many dresses today. But if there's one <laughs> thing that we've learned, is we've found the silhouette that you love. Are yes. you happy with that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I would have loved to have found the dress, but, you know, it was never going to be an easy journey. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Well done. <laughs> <Just> getting rid of it. Three things that we never thought we'd see Jenny in, lace, corset style, and uh, the mermaid skirt. And Jenny actually loved it. So well done, Chloe. Great job there. Go away, have a thing, and then we can come back for like a new yeah. day and try on some more. My name is Jenny Harris. I am 30 years old. Today I'm here with my mum and my younger sister. Are you going to have lace? I don't really know. I, I know I want buttons down the back. And my friend Rachel. We've been best friends since we were 11. She actually got engaged a day after me um, and she's now getting married before me. So we need to be a bit careful because we might like the same things. Ladies. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Hi, Hi. I'm David Emanuel. Hi, please Hi, to meet you. you. Hello, you must be a mummy. Hi, Hi, please to meet you. Hello. I'm Rachel. Best and friend. I'm Rachel, best Jenny. friend. Right. I'm engaged as well. Oh. So we can't have anything too similar? The first rule of wedding dress shopping is not to upstage the bride. But these two best friends seem to be vying for the spotlight already. I can see cats. W yeah. W w what's that good to um, I'm a big fan of cats. I'm very lucky someone proposed to me because otherwise I probably would be a crazy cat lady. My fiance is called Alex. He proposed with a picture of my cat Thomas with a little ring in front of the cat saying, will you marry my daddy? <laughs> And then a ring came out. I always knew I would marry him. It was just a case of when. So I'm really, really lucky. Any theme, any particular idea? Because I'm very pear-shaped. Right. Immediately I'm thinking no to a mermaid, but I don't know where else to go. I really want to get involved in Jenny's wedding dress shopping. Also, slightly selfishly, I'd quite like to see what she's got in mind. Where are we with budget? About 1,500. I am slightly nervous because me and Rachel do have quite a similar style. We're going to find Ideally, the dress of your dreams. The only thing I'm hoping, she's got a winter theme, um, so I'm hoping she goes for a bit, something a bit more winter wonderland. I'm sensing a little competition between these two best friends, so I really need to find Jenny a sensational dress. I don't know if this is going to be too, too much for her. But, I mean, I love the neckline. I that. love that neckline, yeah. Something that will really wow her guests. The colour's yeah, fabulous really on good. this. Really nice. It's soft, it's pretty. I actually really like this one. I like the top. I like the tool. That's really nice. That is beautiful. Yeah. Quite dramatic. The back, that is absolutely beautiful down the back. I like the buttons down it. The only concern is I know Rachel wants buttons and I don't know how she'll feel about it if I'm honest. These two best friends are getting married at the same time and want completely different style dresses. 
but they both love buttons. This could be trouble. Check out the back. It's quite dramatic if you're looking for a wonderful entrance. At the buttons. I want buttons. Will this be an issue if I had something with buttons? Are you wanted buttons as well? It's got to oh, be buttons on I my see. dress. Now all of a sudden, she likes buttons, and that's something that I've always said that I wanted. Don't want you being upset about it. It can't be all about buttons. I mean, no. buttons are buttons. If we like the same thing, I think we'd both sit through each other's weddings and be a little bit unhappy about it. The thing about you two ladies is, it's quite simple. She's got a very different figure to yeah. you. It's quite important that we both like each other's dresses, but they're not too similar, because we'll have all the same guests. Rina, the next one, darling. Yes, we? absolutely. Let's all right, go. you ready? I definitely need to try something else on. In bridal, there are plenty of rules, some of which are fun to break, but others are there for a very good reason. My bride, Jenny, should have free reign to pick a dress, but it turns out her best friend, Rachel, is also getting hitched, and they don't want the same style. So I'm hoping this strapless gown is less Rachel and more Jenny. One of okay. the things I was really nervous about was just having a whole load of this and nothing else. But actually, the fact that it kicks out there... It's lovely, isn't I'm it? I'm avoiding this, which is just the bit I want to avoid. So okay. I thought I'd actually feel a lot bigger in this dress, because it's quite tight. But I feel surprisingly good. I need to see what Rachel thinks of it. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, a lot wow. A lot of dress. <laughs> what do you think? Um, you like the lace? Yeah, I like the fact that it's not laced all the way down. I like these sort of, as yep. it disappears as it goes down. Yep. But I just don't know if it's too predictable for me, because I wear strapless. What do you think, Mummy? I just think it's very wow. I don't think I like the pattern, and maybe I don't like it because it's not symmetrical. I don't like the lace detail, and some of the beading are unfortunately placed. She's got a bead on each nipple by the looks of it. You've got a yeah. great little figure. I'm happy. Yeah. I think that looks, it looks nice, great. the shape. Let's get you into the next frog. The dress is just beautiful, but there's no wow. I wear strapless things all the time, and it, it does give me that feeling that I've seen it before. You're a bride-to-be as well. Is, was that something you'd look at? That wasn't my style. Uh, no. No. Good. no, I'd be happy if Jenny wanted that dress, because it wouldn't clash with what Good. I've got in mind. I want something satin and quite simple. I want to look like a snow queen. Have you seen something? I've had a, yeah. I've had a look Let's at some. Look. Show me, show me, show so, me. OK, well, waiting for Jenny to change. Yeah. Right at this moment, I'm doing two for the price of one. I was concentrating on the main bride, but now her best friend Rachel has spotted a dress she likes. That's a beautiful gown. Snow Queen is about to appear. Hopefully, no noses will be torn in a joint. We've just got to see what happens. Do you really love the back? Yeah, and no, I love the back. OK, so what about putting your hair up with this one? Do you yep. like a hairband? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely try hair. I absolutely love this dress. Neckline, you know, the bling at the top, but actually it's fairly plain as it goes down, so it's not too busy all over it. <laughs> what do we think of this? That's my favourite by far. Really lovely. Because Where's Rachel? Rachel, darling, in the meantime, were you changing? She's, she, we spied a dress. It's so not they, this dress. No, it's not this dress. <laughs> no, 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 I would never put you in the same gown. Okay. And I know you want to be completely different. Yeah. This dress I actually really like, um, but Rachel is not there to give me her opinion. While Jenny is trying on a dress, Rachel has decided to ignore bridal etiquette and put on an ice princess gown for her own wedding. Rachel, darling. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's so sparkly. It's very sparkly. It's white. It's really it's white. white. Do you know, Rachel, I never saw, thought I'd see the day when you'd have more bling. More bling than Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> but yeah. Darling, it's not a competition. <laughs> Look, two complete, I've got mine in the back. Two yes. completely <laughs> different themes. Seeing Rachel in her dress is actually a really bizarre feeling. It's nothing like I would want, so I'm really happy. So if she loves that dress, she can have it. You want to be the Snow Queen? <laughs> I think you look like the Snow Queen. What do you think? I do like it. I'm not sure if it's my dress. Oh. I I'm see. Not sure. I thought the skirt was too big for me. I thought the beading covered too much of the dress. I think I might need a little bit less. You wanted ice queen, snow queen, darling. No, <laughs> I've changed my mind. You're sparkly. <laughs> I'm very sparkly. I don't okay, think it's we, very want, we won't talk no. about you. We're going to concentrate on you. <laughs> okay, really done. The vibe. Mummy, what do you think? Yes or no? I like that. I, I do. I love it. That one is gorgeous. It's gorgeous from the front and the back. I do you think it's too? No, Puffy. no. I think that's really nice. Do you love the dress? Yeah, I do, actually. I really love it. She looks stunning. She looks like a bride. She looks so happy. 
So am I going to ask the question? Are you going to say yes to the dress? I say yes to the dress. Yay! Fantastic. Jenny's found her dress that suits her perfectly. She looks so lovely in it. And I'm also extremely pleased that it's nothing like what I want from my wedding day. Well, at least I'm sorted. I'm getting married off you. One so. down. <laughs> when a bride brings a special family member to an appointment, often her vision gets tangled in theirs. But ultimately, she must decide whether to embrace their similarities or confront their differences. My name's Laura McRoberts. I'm 34. I'm a twin. My sister's name's Nikki. Being a twin, we're very similar. We're completely, we have the same taste in absolutely everything. Clothes, fashion, our houses, uh, we're very much the same. I have to have my dress different to yours. I can't have the same. Nikki, she got married two years ago, so it's really important to make my wedding different. I want it to be the best. Who's my bride? Hey. Oh, Hello. what's your name? Laura. Laura and Chloe. Nice Lovely to meet, to meet you. you. And who have you got with you today? It's Nikki, my twin sister. Hi. Kelly, my sister-in-law. Danielle, my other sister-in-law, and my mum, Sharon. Hello. Lovely. Have you got all the venue booked and everything? Everything's all booked. Oh, Venue's lovely. Booked. Where have you booked? Done. What sort of style is it? Um, very grand. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Henry VIII's old hunting lodge. My sister's wedding was very grand, so I need to go that little bit extra. We're looking to have a silhouette artist, which um, I feel is quite different, uh, a magician, a string quartet, a sparkler exit at the end for when we leave the venue. My fiance is uh, called Michael Hertz. We met uh, six years ago through work and we've been together for two and a half years. Michael and I have uh, a daughter together. Her name's Frankie. She's 15 months old and she's going to be our flower girl. When was your wedding? So mine was three years ago. My dress was like really big, big wasn't it? Corset. Yeah. Like corsety. Um, like ball gown sort yeah. of style. Yeah. Um, my wedding dress was, I'd say, very princessy. Yeah, it was boo tube -y very like, sparkly, and then it just literally just went out at the bottom, massive train at the back. So um, I'm looking for a slinky, mm -hmm. a backless, yeah. maybe sleeves, uh, lots of bling, lots of sparkle, mermaid, yeah. um, long train. Lovely. And what sort of price point would you want to stay under? Do you have a figure? Just I'm so looking at over? around 3000 3000 as the top mark. All right, perfect. Chloe, darling, what are we looking for? So, um, my bride, she's a twin. Yeah. And we're looking for something grand. She's having a really, really beautiful venue. The family bond between identical twins is so special. But when a bride looks in the mirror on her wedding day, she wants to see herself and not her sister. If she's got a great figure, yeah. what price point are we here? One, one, zero, two. Perfect. That's good. Oh, we'll have that. Yeah. Why don't we try ball gun? And mm -hmm. we can always eliminate it. This yeah. one? Yeah, no, that was gorgeous. Because she wanted something with a really nice back. And that cut out back oh, in there fantastic. is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. Let's go. Hi. Hello, darling. Hello. Well, I know you don't want to look like your sister, but this one, because you've got a great figure and you want to be different, I thought that one. I love the sleeves on this. Great. I got a ball gown because every girl looks great in a ball gown. I'm really anxious about trying the ball gown dress on. OK, have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I didn't want anything really remotely close to what Nikki had on. Um, I'm quite nervous. Why is it so important that you want your wedding to be bigger than your sister's? Being twins, identical, everyone compares us, but I have to make mine different, I have to be different. Laura set herself the challenge of finding a dress which is different from the ball gun her identical sister wore on her big day. So, she's trying on the ball gun shape first to rule it out. First thoughts? Oh, I love it! Yeah? I'm really shocked that I love the first dress as much as I do. It's got everything that I wanted, sparkle, glitz, uh, bling, backless. Oh, wow. Oh, God, oh, that, that is, is stunning. That oh, my goodness me. Are you oh right, Oh, my darling? God, I never thought Step that. Up. Look at the back. The this back is, the is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. How do you feel, darling? I, I really love it. I love so, the bling. You love the bling? I love the colour, which lace. I didn't think that I would like. The lace. I didn't think I would like lace. So, darling, you, you were married first, right? As a yes, twin. Yeah. Was this anything like the dress that you had? Um, I mean, well, it's big at the bottom. <laughs> This dress is so grand, it's perfect for our grand theme, but it's similar in style to Nikki's. You know, this is actually the very first bridal gown you put on. Very first dress. It's like it's been made for you. She picked the same dress, of course. She's going to look beautiful in whatever she wears. It wouldn't bother me in the slightest, but I know she just wants completely different to me. Do you want to try more? Try more on. Just, I try more, I just want a comparison. Really, it's really It's the first nice. dress. I know. I think as much as Laura loves this dress, She's hesitant about it because she wants to break the family mold. 
Laura is looking for an over-the-top wedding gown to rival her twin sisters. But instead of going for the opposite style, she's fallen in love with the same silhouette. So, shall we go for this one next? Yeah, this is the dress that I described. I'm really excited to try on the slinky mermaid fishtail dress. This is what I wanted. Uh, this is the dress that I've been looking at. How are you feeling? I love the bottom. Mm -hmm. I love the beading. I love the sparkle. I'm not blown away. Oh. This is so hard. Oh, Turn around, let's have a look. What do we think? Mummy? I didn't have the same feeling as you oh, walked out as I did on the other one. Your faces didn't look No. I mean, when same. you came out, obviously, you look gorgeous in any wedding dress, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But if, if comparing, um, 100% not. I don't think I like this dress. I don't think satin really suits Laura. This dress is definitely a no for me. I didn't get the same feeling that I did in the big dress. Right. But this is the dress that you thought you'd want. It's slim and slinky. What do you think? I'm not sure. The fact that I'm picking faults yeah. says it all. Being that the dress is satin, it's not very forgiving, and I just feel that I'd be very self-conscious all day. Shall we get you back into your princess dress? Yes. And going for a dress that's very similar in style to Nikki. It sounds like she's set on the first one. Like, it doesn't sound like she wants to try any more on. So I think she's done now the opposite style. Oh, she's... Is she back uh... in the first one? I absolutely love it. It is gorgeous. I absolutely love Laura in this dress. She just looks beautiful. I wanted the second time being in the dress to feel the same reaction, and I did. Great. So I'm really happy. <laughs> Although this dress is similar in style to Nikki's, it's very different in that it's a lot of beading, a lot of a lot more bling uh, than Nikki's dress, and I think it's enough to make this dress my own. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, and you look stunning in it, so... I'm not going to cry, but I might do. Yeah, well. Don't you make me cry. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, no, you stop me off. <laughs> so more importantly, how much is it? How much is it? Um, this dress is by Ronald Joyce, and it's 1,726. Oh. So is that within budget? Oh, wow. I'm going to spend the leftover money on some really expensive shoes. So it leaves me the question, are you going to say yes to this dress? I'm saying yes to the dress. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I've managed to find a grand dress to match my grand venue. Um, I could actually see myself in Laura's dress, but I do like my dress better. My dress is better than Nikki's without a doubt. Hi ladies, hi, how are you? Oh, Busy yeah. shopping. Hi, I'm David Emanuel. This is Sue. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to nice meet you. And who are this lot? Your entourage. <laughs> yeah, this is my best friend Gemma, my maid of honour. Hi Gemma, hi. Nice hi. To meet you. This hi. is my friend Amy and Amy. my bridesmaid, my mum's best friend Kay. Oh, hi, peace to meet you. And my mum. When's the big day? 30th of September next year. Right, and, and any theme in mind? It's kind of like vintage, but with a lot of sparkle. You like the glitz? I love the glitz and the glam. I like sparkle because I'm a little bit of a show off. I like to parade about, kind of like a model, uh, with like a peacock with all its feathers out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What have you got in there? Um, this is my mum's wedding dress. Oh, wow. oh. oh. yeah. So this is 80s glitz, This right? is 80s. Yeah, we've got wow. a lot to That's pull out, neat. put it that way. I fell in love with my mum's wedding dress years and years ago as a little girl and I've always wanted to try her wedding dress on because my mum is my absolute world. This looks vaguely familiar. It looks like a copy of a certain wedding dress, I think. When I designed Princess Diana's dress in 1981, it was the best thing in the world. It was like a shot of adrenaline. Do you want us to remodel this? What I, I want to do is I want to try the dress on. Right. Because my mum obviously looked stunning in it yeah. back in 1989. But this <laughs> inspired millions of wedding gowns around yeah. the world. Mm -hmm. But time has moved on. It was all yeah. the rage, wasn't it? Yeah. I love the train on it, the skirt on it, and I just felt like a princess. You want 80s inspired yeah. glitz, slightly royal wedding, yeah. Diana. More hey. Kate Middleton. Hang on, we've got a different class here of stars, but yeah. anyway. <laughs> let's get down to the bare essentials yeah. budget. Around about £2,000. She wants a miracle for £2,000. £2,000, yes. Well, the challenge is on, darling. Oh, uh, no, I think we'll just have to cut the train down. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the just to add a little something, mm. I have been making these scorecards for a good three days now. From one to five. One being a no-go, five being that is the dress. I'm hoping to get threes and above. If I get anything below a three, I'm just gonna be like, what? <laughs> so darling Katie, you go off to the dressing room, yeah. right? And get changed, I want to see you and that, so off you go.
My fiance's name is Stephen Ferrugia. I've known him for 10 years. We kind of took our time getting together. I knew Stephen was the one when he took me out for a drink and he passed a lemon face test. So I had just handed him a lemon wedge and he just pulled the most ugly looking face. And I thought, well, if that's your ugly face, then I've got nothing to really worry about. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Wait. Oh my God, it's not gonna fit. <laughs> Yes, it will, it will, it will, it will. That's it, it will. Trying my dress on in front of David Emmanuel is gonna be somewhat of an experience as he designed the most iconic 80s wedding dress ever. This is what they wore in the 80s. Oh, thank you so much for that, <laughs> Jess. Here she comes. Oh my God, Oh? Oh no, Jay. Wow, there's a lot of frog here. <laughs> That's a statement. I feel that I've kind of just stepped into a Disney film. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, two, two. <laughs> well, you're mean. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, really? what I want to know, Mum, Mum, you wore this on your wedding day. Oh, Mummy. I always thought to myself, if I ever have a little girl, maybe she'll want to wear my dress. How do you feel, Mummy, seeing your wedding dress on her? I feel very emotional, but... <laughs> Hey, it's not, not me. But now, no way, Kate, you can't wear that dress. What a mess. Well, you tried it on. Tried it on. It's done. It's, it's out of my system. It's not happening. No, it's not happening. Hallelujah. <laughs> God, I just didn't get the feeling I thought I was going to get from that. <laughs> Let's turn you and get you straight into the 21st century. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. What do you think? I am not a fan of the mesh up the top here. I feel so restricted, it's unreal. And? No. <laughs> OK. That's um, it. You can give a girl what she asks for, and then she says, no. no. I feel way too big. I wouldn't know how I was going to fit in a car in that dress. Let's see what your judges think, shall we? I'm dreading oh, it. please. <laughs> We've got two twos and okay. two ones. Katie, you look like you're bored into that. Oh. That is awful. <laughs> All right then, OK. Right, let's just get it off. <laughs> I don't feel like Princess Diana and I don't feel like Kate Middleton. I don't even feel like Katie Price. Just no. You know what? Perhaps it's all too much. We're looking back. We're not yeah. looking forward enough. So rather than harp on about the royal weddings and other influences, yes. let's go forward. Let's find something that really, really shows you. All right. OK? <laughs> yeah, please. Can we do that? We can. <laughs> Let's go. We need to forget the whole princess thing and focus on Katie's own style. This is everything that you wanted and now you don't want it. No. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, wow, I have no words. She told us she loves glitz and sparkle, so the next dress is 100% bling. This bling kind of makes the dress look grey. So this is a no to this dress? No. No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm really worried that I'm not going to find anything that I love. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> well, you wanted sparkle. Yeah. You wanted lace. <laughs> yes. How do you feel? I feel a lot more like myself. I was wondering what it would look like with a veil. Like, Let's would it look there, different? Darling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Veil. Operation Veil. <laughs> Let's go. Now, I think I can see the magic now. Oh, that changes everything. Do you see? It? Oh, my God. Do you see when you do that? <laughs> oh. Now that I have the veil on, I feel that that's completed the dress and I feel so much more like a bride. So, Mum, what do we think, darling? I think it's absolutely stunning. And Good. it really suits you, Katie. Yeah, you look like the perfect bride. Oh. Mm. oh. <laughs> Katie is shining in this dress. It's just Katie. You, I can tell it was her. She felt good in it. Who's the designer? This is Maura Lee. Okay, and so the price? Is £1,211. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, um, Mummy, are we happy with the price? I'm More very happy. happy. I am so pleased that my dress is under budget. It just means that I can spend more money on other sparkly things for my venue. Am I going to see the scores from your judges? <laughs> oh, wow. Five. five. Oh, you're five. Oh, wow. So, okay. Yes. Two dress. So the jury have set, made up their minds. Now, 
the final question. Are you going to say yes to the dress? I'm going to say yes to the dress. Yay! My wedding dress now is completely different to my mum's wedding dress. I'm actually quite thankful. I'm so glad to be out of the 80s and into the 21st century. Is it 21st century? I know what I've got in my head. I know what I'm looking for. Where is it all going to happen? Lake Garda in Italy. Oh, lovely. Tell us what you want. That dress there. <laughs> oh, that's quick. <laughs> the only thing I need to ask seriously is budget. I think probably about 1300 You know, it's £1,700. Yeah. Pounds. We have a beautiful bride who has expensive taste but doesn't have the budget to go with it. What do we do? We need to find something like this. This is going to be tough. I was yes. thinking strapless. I don't see eyes sparkling, do I? They're not sparkling. Never thought about a strapless dress, to be honest. And this that, one? This one. <laughs> the minute I saw that dress, I thought, no. The dresses that David's bought in, I just hate them. I don't think I'm seeing a very happy bride at the moment. How are you feeling right now? I feel emotional because I'm in a dress, mm. but I'm not emotional about this dress. Right. It's not well enough. Mm -hmm. I think it just looks like a standard dress. I thought that in this moment I would feel emotional and I'd feel proud and I'd feel overjoyed, but I didn't feel any of that. How much is this dress? This dress is by Pronovius and it is £1,080, so it's well within budget, mm -hmm. which is good. The dress is in budget, but it doesn't change the way I feel about it. I just really want to get it off. You see, what you've done is you've come in, you go, bam, you love that. Yeah. That is in your head. I'm a little bit shocked that what I want could be out of reach. And I feel like I'm not going to find my address. My name is Cecily Worsfold. I'm not a very decisive person. I do tend to have to think about things for a while. No. My elder sister, Ellie, she knows what I want in a dress. So, Cecily, what do you think? I absolutely loved it on the hanger, but now I don't love it as much. I can't put my finger on it. It's just a bit OTT. Too glam. I'm really disappointed. I was really excited about trying this on, and I just don't think it lived up to my expectations. So we'll give this one a go. What do you think? But yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised about this one, actually. It's not your typical bride, this look. It's not what I imagined, because mm. it still looks quite formal. What are you thinking? I think it's stunning. Oh! Oh! Yeah, absolutely love this dress. Ooh. I do really like it, but there's something in the back of my head just holding me back. Do you know what that is? That's just you, because you're useless at making decisions when you go clothes <laughs> shopping. She'll try something on 20 times. Oh, I'm an R about it, and then by the time she decides she wants it, it's gone. Don't let that happen with this dress. This dress is stunning. Do you feel like a bride? I don't, I don't know. I thought maybe that I'd be a bit more casual than this. At this moment, I don't know if I can say yes. I truly believe the only way to get a decision out of this bride is to put her in a dress that I know she's not going to like. Oh, I don't like this. So, ladies, how are we getting on? I feel like it's a bit generic. It's mm -hmm. not special enough. We'll leave it there. Do you want to step back into that? And see how you feel the second time, because you might look at it in a completely different way. Yeah? Yeah. It does look rather sensational. So, girls, a surprise, hey? Yeah, yeah, very surprised. I think this is very me. It's definitely what you described as your vision yeah. for your wedding day. One question. Are you going to say yes to the dress? I think I am. Yeah! <laughs> well done, darling. I'm very hot-tempered. If things don't go my way, it's the end of the world. So, Kaylee, how do you feel? I feel a bit prom rather than bride. I don't like the colour and the size of it, the fullness of the dress. So, what are your first thoughts on this dress? 
I like it. I feel like I need to breathe in all the time. <laughs> I feel a bit restricted and self-conscious in this dress. Katie thought she wanted the fuller shape and Mum liked it. It really, really suits you. But she didn't. So then we went for the fitted silhouette. Again, Mum liked it. I think it was beautiful. Kaylee didn't. How do you feel in this dress, Kaylee? I don't know. It's. I don't. I don't know. All this hope and excitement inside me is just disappearing. You're looking a bit overwhelmed. How are you feeling? I think the whole process has just hit me. I am getting overwhelmed. I think it's the realisation that I am growing up and I am getting married. It's not what I expected to feel like. <laughs> hey, Kaylee, how are you feeling out here? This is my favourite dress so far. But there is just something missing still. I always thought that I'd get that gut reaction yeah. and... It's just not there. not there. You're not feeling the wow factor then. Yeah. I need to take a step back and just get my head together of what I actually want again. Have you shopped before? I've shopped in a lot of shops. Oh, God. <laughs> How many gowns do you think you've tried on? At least 50, if not Jeez. more. No, no, you've over shopped? No. Yeah, I think I have. What do you think you'd like to wear? I definitely like tulle. I definitely want sparkle, bling, and I do like princess dresses, but then again, I also quite like a sort of slick, sexy look. Uh, this is not <laughs> going to be easy. No. We've been through 50 dresses already. If David cannot do it, nobody will ever do it. Do you want drama, darling? OK, this I'm liking now. I like the stripes on this dress. It's something different, and I've never tried this on before. What are you thinking, Rachel, right now? I like the drama. <laughs> I thought you would. <laughs> this is our blush bride. This is a showstopper. Do you think it's showstopping enough? I think so. Is it bridal enough? Yes, definitely. You love it. Yeah. Do you think they love it? Let's, Let's find out. Not quite princessy enough. It's nearly there, but not quite. When I heard Rebecca's comment that she wanted to see something bigger and princessier, that's planted the seed in my head that I need to try a different dress. Oh, think... We're so close. We're so close. I think what we need to do is get you out this dress. All right, on another one. OK. I'm so excited to try on this princess dress. <gasps> I really like it as well. What's your vision? That's what I'm struggling with. When it's my wedding day, I want to walk into the room and everybody says, wow. So I'm really looking to actually get a big thumbs up from everybody. What do you think? It's lovely. It's because it's just, it's the one. I know it's the one. You tried on 50 gowns. You put this gown on and suddenly there's emotion. It makes me feel like a bride, yeah. I'm Jordan Constable. I've been thinking about my dress since I was a little girl. It sounds really cliche, but it is true. That's the shape you really liked. Yeah, that's a pretty one. I am here with my sister. I'm here with my mum and my auntie. Jordan! <laughs> <laughs> Too flouncy. My auntie is very different. She's got a big, big personality and she's going to be very opinionated. Hi, Hello. pleased to meet you. What's I'm your name? Juanita. I'm the wonderful Anna Marie. Hi, pleased to meet you. Yeah. You Hi. must be the bride. I'm bride. Hi, what's your name? Jordan. Jordan, well, I'm looking forward to working with you. Any idea of a mood or a theme? It's a winter wedding. Oh, lovely. So if there is a bit of sparkle in there. Winter wonderland? Yeah. You... I do like fitted. I like mermaid. In my head, I like mermaid. I like backless, which is a bit weird if it's a winter wedding. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on now. <laughs> Just hold it and have a breath. <laughs> I am completely almost open to anything. The dress world is my oyster at the moment. What do you think? Um, I absolutely love the big frou frou type stuff. Oh, right, Princess. Cinderella. Yes, I've Cinderella. been engaged five times. Five? So I th yeah, I know. <laughs> Hang on, five times. But never been married. So. Oh, are we going for a six? Don't rule it out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, five times engaged, never the bride, that says a lot. Ladies, with all due respect, let's see what looks fabulous on the bride, because she's going to be the star of the show. I will try to be calm and collective and polite but it's not guaranteed. The man in your life, what, is, what does he do? He is a car salesman at Jaguar in Thames oh. City, Alicia. We've been together for seven years. I met him when I was 15, he was 17. Sounds really cliche as well, but he is my best friend. He has a heart of gold. He's the biggest heart I've ever known. I don't tell him enough sometimes. I'm really, really lucky to have him and I couldn't be happier. So I can't wait to kind of be his wife. First thing I should ask you, what budget? What, what sort of price are we um, talking about? 2000 Jordan is open to every style of dress in the shop. 
That's quite dramatic. Yeah. Darling, this is terribly Swan Lake. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> but her aunt is very insistent on a princess style gown. So that's a good place to start. It is pretty. I haven't tried on a princess dress before. It does look nice, I just don't know. So I'm trying one on today just to get it out of my system and to keep my auntie quiet as well, but we'll see. Ooh, this has gone with the wind. Wow. The bodice is fabulous, it's a great fit. We've got feathers here. Yeah, it is pretty. That's a skirt, that's a gone with the wind skirt. I am feeling like a bit of a wedding cake decoration. Just a bit much. I don't like it. I like the bodice, but it's the layering effect of it, yeah. the way it comes down. I feel like my shoulders look a bit A rugby broad. player. I feel, yeah. <laughs> a rugby player. You say, she's got <laughs> wonderful yeah. shoulders. If something has to be said, I'll say it. But you can be a cow. I've seen rugby players, you don't look like a rugby player. It's just not nice when you're standing up there in your dress, wanting your family who love and care about you to say something positive. So with your body shape, I think what's going to work for you, Jordan, darling, is a slinky one, OK? So off you go. Let's go. Okay. Whose side is the aunt on? I need it to be on the bride's side. She's the girl wearing the gown. She's the bride. She's the star of the show. I do right. like it. I think we're going the right direction for fitting. I feel glamorous in the dress. It's more what I'm looking for. Jordan, are you ready, darling? Come on. Oh, wow. Well, you, you wanted slink? You've got slink. Wow. This really is a number. Oh. Oh, oh. no. I haven't got anything nice to say, so my mum always told me not to say anything. I've got nothing. What, what, what don't you like about it? It comes back to the rugby thing about your thighs now. Anne-Marie, are you mad? Are you completely insane? <laughs> my aunt is being a bit brutal with her comments, being a bit personal about my figure, and it's just making me feel really uncomfortable. Jordan, I love it. I think it's, it's beautiful. Her legs look fat in it. I'm sorry, they but not. it does. They do not. They do. It looks amazing on her. I have to give my honest opinion, and that's it. I'm not listening to anybody. I think you look fat, but Lindsay's got another dress for you to try. Ready? So let's okay. go. Off you go. Feeling very overwhelmed at this point and really upset. Can I just say one thing, Jordan? I think you've got an awful lot of patience. And I can see, I, I hope you're not getting too upset. No, I'm OK. I mean, I've never heard. Your aunt says you've got shoulders like a rugby player. And then your hips are like, what? I mean, for, you've got the most divine little figure. So when I see a bride like Jordan being basically bullied, my heart goes out to her. We will find the right dress for you, darling. That's, okay. that's, that's my job. That's our job, that's right? That's right. Um, so hang in there. I am disappointed that my auntie said those comments. Oh, she's crying now, oh, darling, don't cry. At this point, I do regret inviting her to come. It's all about you, right? And Mummy said some very flattering things. Your aunt certainly is in a different camp. Yeah. Trust me, we will find the dress for you. Okay. Jordan is so upset. The next dress really has to be a stunner to get her confidence back. This strapless fishtail is 100% glamour. This is my favourite so far. I really, really, really like this one. I instantly feel a lot better. I love it completely, but I do want them to like it. It is important to me. What do you think? It is nice. Uh, it is. If you love the dress, yeah, you know, it, it's your day, not mine. Quite right. Here, here. I am feeling amazing. I feel a lot more confident in it. You haven't been upset, have you? Yeah. Oh, Jordan, please, come on. No, 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 I've not been rude. You've been a bit brutal. I upset Jordan. I made her cry. It's a nice, lovely dress. I'm trying to pick up the pieces. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a lot of digging to do, honey. It's really pretty. How much is this dress? 1,600. It's in the price range. It's a beautiful dress. Everything about it, the way it fitted her, very pleased, very happy. Do you feel like it's the night? It's the one. I think so. I'm just. Scared it's the to only one it. I've seen you come out and be smiley about. You're scared of this. Yeah. You've got to feel. I keep on telling you, you've got to feel. I do love it. It's my favourite one. Do I have to ask you this question? <sighs> 
Are we going to say yes to the dress? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I can definitely imagine myself walking down the aisle in this dress. It suits me, it suits my body shape. I think my fiance will love it as well. I'm a bit overwhelmed, really. My name's Amy Davison, I'm 28 and I'm from Hertfordshire. I'm here today to find my dream wedding dress. I've never tried any dresses on before, so I don't know what to expect. Hello, who's my lovely bride today? Me. With me today, I've got my mum, my dad, my mother-in-law and my maid of honour. If you guys want to start looking around the rest of the store, see if there's yeah, anything you think she yeah. might like. I'm a real daddy's girl. I don't think I could do it without him. I really value his opinion. Not every um, father gets the opportunity to go shopping with their daughter, but um, I always have. Even to this day, we still go shopping once a week. And how about your fiance? Lee proposed to me on my birthday. I thought I was just going to the cinema with two of my friends. Old photos of us all come up on the screen, and then he come in proposed to me and all my friends and family were at the back of the cinema. It took him three months to organise everything and I was just thinking I couldn't believe that he'd pulled this out of the bag. So Amy, tell me a little bit about your wedding then. I'm getting married in a castle in Essex so I'm thinking big princess but there's one thing I have to have long sleeves. Okay, so did you have a budget in mind? 2,500. Brilliant, well yeah. come and have a little bit. Okay. Hi, I'm David Emmanuel. Oh, Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have you got the tissues ready? Yeah. Because <laughs> I think Dad's going <laughs> to be very, <laughs> very emotional. My relationship with Amy is very strong. She's totally a daddy's girl. I like this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, I agree. And as long as she gets the dress that we both like, it'll be a great day. Yes. I've just met your parents outside. Yes. <laughs> and your father's been shopping for you, darling. He, he got mad for these. Oh, really? Slim, fitted. They don't have sleeves. <laughs> well, yeah, that's OK, isn't it? I need to cover my arm. <laughs> Why do you need to cover your arm, Because I have this. He doesn't own. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, hang on. We need a jacket or something. Hang on. Hang on. Let, let me see. Look. We've got to cover this. You're not serious? No, it's probably about this. This is as much as he's probably seen. You're not serious? I am. So this is the big reveal. So shock horror, can you imagine? It turns out she's got a whole sleeve of tattoos. Are you going to be OK about this? I've got my work cut out with this one. We'll get you in it first. Yep. Then we'll see then sleeve we'll or sleeveless. There. OK. This is your moment, honey. Are you ready Not to... my moment if he doesn't pay for my wedding, though. <laughs> yeah, I feel really nervous, like I'm going to cry. My dad doesn't like tattoos at all. <laughs> He is going to go mad. There's no way I, I can go out with my arm out like this, no way. I've definitely got to keep the tattoos hidden. I don't want them to see me wearing a wedding dress with this image. I just don't. Talk about drama. What do I do? There's only so much you can camouflage. This is going to be tricky. I think he'd be very disappointed in me. OK, so we're going to step into this one first of all. Dad's sleeveless dress was a no-no, so we'll have to move on to a dress with a lot more coverage. I'm not too keen on this top bit, but this, this is much more me, this dress. It did have longer sleeves. It was still a little bit see-through, but I do feel a lot more comfortable knowing that it's not just out there. I mean, it's hard to believe Amy, after all this time, has managed to hide a sleeve of tattoos from her dad. Quite amazing. OK, Amy, second girl now. It's the second dress. Are you finally ready to go and show everyone? I'm very nervous to go out and show my dad. But I just want to get it done. Come on, Amy. Tick tock. All right, let's go. <laughs> That's beautiful. What did we think, Dad? I did like it till I saw the arm. It's there in your face. So that's one heck of a shock for you? Yeah, yeah. So we're talking sleeves? Yes. Definitely, <laughs> definitely sleeves. OK. <gasps> Horror. If the father dreams that his daughter's going to walk in like a fairy tale, princess or Cinderella. I don't know how you make a wedding dress look nice with that, with that arm. OK, we need to see you in something else, right? Yeah. OK, darling. 
If we can't find the right dress to cover those tattoos, there might not even be a wedding. I need to get this off. Oh. <laughs> I'm feeling really upset at this point. I feel like I've really let my dad down. I feel so disappointed in myself that I had this tattoo, this silly mistake that I'd done years ago, and now it's making me and my dad feel uncomfortable. You upset about the arm? Yeah, I think so. Shouldn't have a full sleeve like that. Pauline. Oh dear. <laughs> That's gonna ruin any dress. We need to cover up her tattoo because clearly dad can't see past it. Okay. We're gonna make this work, right? Whatever it takes, we're gonna make it work. Okay, okay brilliant. Darling. Thank it's you. nice to see the smile back on her face. <laughs> Come on, let's get her in. Let's go. First, a sleeve liner to cover her tattoo. Wiggle it off. Give it a go. That's better, look. And over that, a Cinderella dress with sequin sleeves to cover up her arms as much as possible. How do you feel? I love this gown. <gasps> Amazing! I instantly loved it. It was big, it had sequins, it had sleeves. And now I've covered up the tattoo, I really don't know how my dad will react. <laughs> All right, so let's go and show Dad now, okay? Yep. Okay. Let's go. Oh, wow. So this one's better. Now, Daddy, is this your little girl? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I love it, Amy. Personally, how I'm feeling was very emotional. Never be disappointed, you know, but, you know, it was a shock. I love the look, everything about it. I can imagine walking down the aisle with Amy in this dress, no doubt. It was just how I imagined her to look. The arm had disappeared. Perfect, just yeah. perfect. I feel like a princess yeah. in my castle in this one. You look like a princess to go to a castle. Thanks, dear. <laughs> so am I going to ask the question? Yes, ask the question. Are you going to say yes to this dress? I'm saying yes to the dress. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Great. With this princess dress, I know that I've made my dad happy, and that's made me happy. She's going to be a beautiful bride. Mm, he's going to love it. Thanks. My dad is going to be so emotional walking down the aisle with me in that dress. I'm going to feel like a princess in my castle. I can't wait. Hi, I'm Kim. Catherine, nice to meet you. Hello, Catherine. Tell me about the wedding. OK, the wedding is going to be at Cripps Barn in the Cotswolds. It's a lovely old oh, stone barn. Lovely. The theme of the wedding is kind of really relaxed. Country, garden, barbecue. It's just gorgeous. Do you have a, a budget I have to be respectful of? My budget is £1,000. I could, okay. I could stretch max to 1200 but I'd love to be under 1000 OK. George and I will be paying for our wedding dress out of our own wedding budget. Um, it's really important that I do that because it's just how we roll. Tell me what your vision is. I prefer the kind of fitted, mm -hmm. the fitted style, but I'm not sure how that will look on me. So let's go shopping. Okay. Lovely. Cool. Although I like to get a bargain, cheap isn't my style. I, I like all the all the lace, mm -hmm. and I love the shape it gives me here. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I didn't think I'd like it, but I do like it. It's nice. It's really nice. This first dress makes me feel really curvy and really womanly. Your figure looks really nice in that. I'm not sure about the corset's back. No, I think it's really nice. It's not too gypsy wedding. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> this, this is nothing like gypsy wedding, darling. Yeah, no. Trust me. I think she will have surprised herself with this dress. Mm, I agree. But it looks so nice on her girls and in her waist. It is beautiful, really lovely. What's the price, Catherine, on that one? It's 1367. A little bit more than what you wanted. A little bit more than I wanted. Just a smidge, just a smidgey smidge. That's a little bit more than I wanted to spend. I might have to think about that one. Sit, one day, get that. Sit. So I think the next one we should try is this one here. Yep. Catherine loved dress one, but it was a little bit over budget. I picked out some gowns which are more in her price range, so we'll move on to those. Yeah, it's just definitely not... not me. It's just too tight to see, really. Isn't it? I'm shocked that I actually feel so rubbish in it. We're now going to do A-line. OK. Uh, 
I'm not sure at all about this shape here. You don't like coming that in. Shape. I think it makes my top half, which I'm really not friends with. <laughs> Are you not? <laughs> um, look massive. It's it's a no. So it's a no. <laughs> it's a right. definite no. I'm a little bit concerned at this point. Two dresses in a row within my budget who have not been quite right, and it's really disheartening. So I'll be back in a mo. Lovely, thank you. I know we have the perfect dress for her, but I'm not going to sacrifice style for budget. Sophie decided to slip into an over-the-budget gown, and if she falls in love with it, she's going to be in a tough spot. I definitely like this one a lot. How do you like it? I love it. You love it? Yeah. I mean, this one is coming above budget. Yeah, difficult. Ah. Are you all right? That's it. Wow. That's so nice. That's beautiful. What do we think? That's Love it. One. This is over a price, though. It's £1,595. This dress is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen her wear. But obviously, this dress is almost £500 over budget. I love it. Yeah, me too. You love it? Yeah. On the back. <gasps> That's stunning. It's just the price. <laughs> Even though I am a bride with a very strict budget, um, I have completely fallen in love with this dress. Do you feel that we could sort of move the budget or...? I'd have to speak to Mum. Yeah. I need to now speak to my Mum and see if there's any way that we can maybe add more money to the budget. Hello, Hello. Mum. We found Sophie a really good dress, but we just want to get your opinion on it, OK? OK, yeah, okay. yeah. Have a so, There you go. Hello there. Hello, Hello. Mother. What do you think? I like the front. Let's have a look at the back then. OK. Oh. I think it's lovely. Ah. I really like that. Slight what issue. Yeah? It's slightly over budget. Uh, OK. How much is it? It's £1,595. Oh. I have to think about that. I'm a bit worried that my mum thinks I need to stay within my budget. It's a beautiful dress. Obviously, your opinion matters a lot to Sophie. If I don't find a dress today, I am going to be really disappointed. What do you think of it, Sophie? I love it. Really love it. Maybe I could put some towards it as well. Yeah. Well, if that's one you want, yeah. So, Sophie, do you feel like this is your dress? definitely imagine myself walking down the aisle in this dress. Really hope Matt cries. I just want him to think, oh, wow, she's looking beautiful. Oh, so, wow. I've got a feeling about I this like one. This shape. Catherine is going to love this dress, but maybe not the price, but it's a risk worth taking. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this one will be the one. We've got that lovely fitted shape and this beautiful, beautiful tray. What do you think? I really like this one. Um, I really like this one. I feel really beautiful in this dress and it makes me feel confident. It hugs me in all the right places. It's got everything that I wanted on it. It's got the sleeves, it's got the detailing. Yes. I like that. I like it. I like this one. It's lovely. <laughs> Are you OK? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. It's just lovely. She's my little girl. Now she's growing up. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wow. Yeah. What do you feel? I feel grown up. I feel like I should feel. It makes me feel perfect. It just makes me feel like a proper bride. What's the price of this one? Oh, this one. Um, let me have a little <laughs> look for you. Oh, no. And the price is 1495 Catherine will barter 
you know how I said I'd love to be under a thousand? Absolutely. Is there any chance no. of that? Oh, okay. No. It's worth a try. <laughs> Oh, I hope this isn't the end. I know. <laughs> so, could you maybe do 10% off? That could be doable. And maybe throw in a veil? <laughs> oh, my God, you're such a hard taskmaster. <laughs> um, I don't see why not. Oh, thank you very, very much. No, that's my pleasure. Are you saying yes to this dress? I am saying yes to this dress. Yay! Picking the right silhouette is absolutely critical. I love this. It's team fishtail today. Whether you want a fishtail, which is kind of sexy, or a ball gown, which is romantic, if you love to dance, go ball gown. If you want to look sexy in pictures, go for fishtail. I don't know how I feel about the skirt. I love the top. My name's Amy Ellis. I'm 24 and I'm from Essex. Ever since I was really little, probably about six years old, I've always dreamt of getting married in a ball gown dress. But I tried on a fish towel and I absolutely loved it. And so I'm completely confused. Ladies, Hello. hi. Hello. Who's my lovely bride? Hi, Amy. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Hi, Amy. I'm Kim. And who have you brought with you today? Today I've brought my mum, Sue, and my auntie, Karen, and my cousin, Sophie. Do you have a shape in mind? We have two very different shapes. OK. Princess ball gown. Oh. Uh, mainly this one. one. I think all girls should look like a princess on their wedding day, and that's just what I like. And then completely the opposite, fishtail. Oh, right. Team fishtail over here. So team <laughs> fishtail. I just think she's got such a nice figure, and it would just be a waste not to show it off. I think you're more ball gown. I think I'm more fishtail. My mum and I are extremely similar. So similar, we just clash sometimes. If she doesn't like something, she will definitely tell me. Is there a budget that I'm to be respectful of? In between 1,000 and 1,500. OK. Where are you marrying? The venue. It's really quite romantic and pretty, so I want my dress to match that as well. So tell me about your fiancé. My fiancé's name is Jamie. I met Jamie uh, just over two and a half years ago. We were introduced by friends on a night out. We started dating quite quickly until I just stopped going home. Um, we just get on like best friends, fight like brother and sister, uh, but I absolutely love him to pieces. What do we think? That, team that's, ball gown. Yeah, I like yeah, that. I like ball gown. I'm on team ball gown. I love ball gowns because they're romantic. They're lovely, what's not to love? Like team that. fish tail. Mm. Would I wear a ball gown? Absolutely. I don't care if I look mutton. <laughs> I really like the fact this one's got a lace-up back. You can see Mum and Karen both loving this. Yeah. Maybe yeah. even Sophie. Oh, yes. I feel like a princess in this dress. It's got the sparkle, it's got the sweetheart neckline, it's got everything that I always wanted from when I was little. Do we want Cinderella? I do. I you do. do? Or do we want sexy Jessica Rabbit? Yeah. Am I team fishtail or team ball gum? I'm team bride. Wow, look at you. Oh, that is lovely. That's lovely. That's, that's, that's lovely. That's pretty. That is beautiful. How do, you how do you think you look? I love this one. You love this? I feel really comfortable in it. Good. It's not really heavy, even though it's got the really lovely long uh -huh. train. Uh-huh. I like the waves where the diamonds go at the bottom. You like the little detail throughout. around here? It's how I've always imagined her to look in a wedding dress on a wedding day. One for Team Ball Girl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest, I just don't like any of them. OK. Because I'd love you in fitted, and I don't think that it sits right. Your time will come, Team Fish Town. I don't know, I know. <laughs> I'm feeling under pressure because of the split in my entourage. I'm not 100% sure how I feel in this ball gown dress now. I know I need to try the fish towel dresses on, so I just want to see how that comparison plays out. As much as I love you in the ball gown, it's not about me, it's about you, darling. I've been watching Kim's Bride, Amy. I don't like butting in, but sometimes you have to. It's obvious to me she needs to be in a fishtail, not a ball gown. I love fishtails because they're elegant and very sexy. Hang on, what's Hello. going <laughs> on here? Do I see fishtails? I think you've got to try these fishtails on. So when Jill comes in with these two fishtail dresses, there's even more pressure because even the consultants are team ball gown and team fishtail now. Uh, so it's an even bigger split. Wow, wow, wow. 
In this fishtail dress, I feel really elegant, really sexy. It's comfortable, it's fitted. <laughs> you look incredible. I really, really hope my mum loves it and goes for Team Fishtail. I, I do like it. I oh, love she's coming it. Right. Oh. I do like it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> come on. I knew that, oh, mum. No. I love it, I do love it, but I still, I'm still going ball gown. Oh, ouch. What did you wear on your wedding day? I didn't have a fancy wedding on my ah, wedding day. Ah, that's why you want your daughter in the princess. I absolutely love it, and I thought this was going to change your mind. I know she likes it, but I want her to be 100% happy. And I don't feel like I can buy my wedding dress without my mum's full approval. The difference in style between a ball gun and a fishtail is quite simple. The fishtail is usually curved to the body, quite shapely and quite sexy. A ball gown, if you think of Cinderella, if you think of boned bodies and a big skirt. Amy has tried on both styles and looks fabulous. But while she's leaning towards the fishtail, her mum really wants her to try on another ball gown. How's it all going? One another today. crinoline. But it's, it's up to Amy. I feel really confused now um, with Team Fishtail, Team Ball Gown. What do you think? If it was a ball gown, it would be this one. If it really? was a fishtail, it would be that one. Mm. So will Cinderella go to the ball? Or will Jessica Rabbit appear and look sexy? <laughs> I, at this point, just don't know which way it's going to go. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, think? I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's no. Nice. Beautiful. I can tell by your eyes. I think we've, we've jumped camp now. Yeah. Am I right? Again. <laughs> I'm feeling amazing in this dress. I feel like a princess, but I still feel more grown up. The fishtail has got the grown up elegance. This has got both. I love the beadwork. I love the pattern on it, I love the sparkle throughout, it's just me. I hate to say it, but I love that. Oh, oh, no. I love that. <laughs> we love it, don't it's, we? It's stunning. It's brought a tear to my eye. She looks absolutely beautiful in this dress. I'm officially converted Good. To, <laughs> to a ball gown dress. She looks absolutely incredible. So I think we love it, don't we? Yeah. yeah. So the obvious next question is, are you going to say yes to the dress? Yes. Yay! I'm so happy that we've finally come to an agreement. Everyone's happy with this dress. Me and my mum have both got our dream dress now. Um, I get to wear it, which makes me very happy because I feel amazing in it. I couldn't be happier. No more teams. Yes. <laughs> my dress is really important on my wedding day because you want to feel like an absolute princess. It's the biggest day of your life. Hello, ladies. How are we? Introduce me to your entourage. So, this is my mum. Hello, mummy. Nice Hello. to meet you. How are you? <laughs> this is my maid of honour. Hello, maid of honour. Great. And this is my best friend who's... Hello. I don't really know what suits my body shape, so... I'll be really listening to the consultant today and my bridal party. When I put the dress on, yep. and if they're crying, yep. then I'll know that that is the that dress. That is the dress. She, I think she expects us to cry because we, we do cry. When we're emotional, we always cry. So tell me, have you got like a theme for your wedding at all? Um, it's sort of beachy, but not beachy, because yeah. I don't like sand. My fiancé's name is Kieran Cossins. The actual place that he proposed is in Grand Canaria on a heart-shaped island. This is actually where we'll be getting married two years to the date. I met him when I was about 13 years old. He is my absolute rock. Um, when I met him, I just knew that he was the one. We just have fun, and I think that is the most important thing in a relationship, is to have fun with your partner. What's your budget? Uh, around sort of 1,500 pounds. Tell me a bit about if you've tried anything on before, what you're liking, what you're not liking. Well, I lost two stones. And oh my goodness, two stones. So now I've done that, I am excited to undress this. So I was a size 16 to 18, and so now I'm a, a 12, so I'm really chuffed with that. I really like this dress. I love the belt. Yep, it will really suit you in on your waist. I do want to get you, like, in a proper... Corsets are fab for cinching you in and giving you that hourglass silhouette. 
how does it feel to have a dress on? It's so nice to actually feel like I've actually got a figure. Yeah. Finally. I think this could be a dress that makes them both cry. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling in this dress? I feel stunning. I just I feel amazing in it. Never in a million years would I have gone for something like this before I'd lost the weight. There is no way. And I'd have felt huge in it. So the fact that I actually feel nice enough, I'm upset my mum. I really like it. Yeah. I'm really happy with it, yeah. That just shows her, her <laughs> slimmer waist now. It's beautiful. Really lovely. Tracy, you're not crying. <laughs> the tears aren't coming, but I, I, the emotion's there. She looks amazing, but maybe it's just there's something missing. Right then, if Auntie's not um, crying, we need them both to cry yeah. to get the <laughs> dress. I'm a bit shocked that I didn't get the response that I probably would have from Tracy. I'm hoping that the next dress will both make them have some tears. I think we should go try on another one. Definitely. Ready? Yes. Come on then. Very ready. I'm more surprised that my mum got so emotional and that Tracy, Tracy didn't as much. Yeah. Katie loved the first dress, but her aunt didn't cry. Of course, the risk you run when you pin in your hopes on entourage reactions is that you won't get the response you want. How are you feeling in this one? I absolutely love this as well. It's so completely different. I'm not 100% sure of how I feel about it, so their feedback's been really important for this dress. How'd you feel? Uh, stunning. I really do. I, I love the belt. I love the detail, I love the train. It just makes me feel amazing. I have a figure and I don't like a fat mess. Tracy's gone, we're gonna go straight for Tracy. <laughs> She's beautiful, you look like a princess. This is one you could see her walking down the aisle too. Yeah, definitely. I love what the belt I like on that more. one. I think that really does yeah. do it. Do you like that one more than the other one? I did really like the other one. What I liked about the other one seemed to... I was surprised that a fitted dress like that would make you look as slim as it did. I'm really surprised that it's sort of been split, that my mum prefers the fishtail dress and that Tracy and Lauren are preferring the satin dress. How are you feeling? Because the girlies are a bit indecisive at the minute. I feel confused. Before I even came out, I didn't know what one I preferred out of the two. That makes me even more undecided. <laughs> now it's a lot harder decision for me because I have them torn. I actually think I prefer this dress to the satin dress. Katie loved the first dress so much she's decided to put it on again, but this time with the belt to show off her waist. Yeah, see, I, I really like that with it. I think the belt has made so much difference. It just, it looks like it's always meant to be there and it looks perfect with it and I absolutely love it. Wow, I didn't expect that. Now she's added this belt to this dress. It's the whole package, it's everything she wanted and, and she looks beautiful. How do you feel in this? <laughs> Perfect. I absolutely love it. Trying on this dress again with an added belt gives it that extra wow factor and makes it the perfect dress. I didn't think I would look like this in a dress. I really. I'm proud of myself that I've lost the weight, so I can look like this and feel like a bride. And I just love it. Uh-oh! <laughs> oh, we got you! <laughs> so, Mum? It's beautiful. She looks lovely. Really beautiful. Really? And I like it now you've added the belt to it. This is the response I've been waiting for all day. It really choked me. We've got the tears. <laughs> Are we going to say yes to the dress? I'm going to say yes to the dress. <laughs> I 
feel amazing. I know that this is the right dress. It means the world to me that my mum, my aunt and my best friend love the dress as much as I do. And now I can't wait to show everyone else. We're gonna need lots of tissues on the day. <laughs>